Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs. Today, hopefully, I'm going to show you how to print onto a CD with my uh, Epson printer, my 7700 EcoTank one. I've never tried it before, this, so this is a first for me. What I'll do is just show you the software first on the uh, computer and then um, we'll print it out and I'll show you how to load the CD into the printer. Uh, fingers crossed it'll all go well. So I'll move the camera around so you can see my computer screen and me uh, messing about with the uh, software to get started. So uh, we'll load up the C uh, CD software first. So I've got a printer folder here because that's easier if I put them all in together. So I've got all my software there from the Epson printer. Uh, print CD, so just double click on that. There you go. And you have a number of options here, like you can just do text in if you want to do text in, uh, pictures, you can do you know stuff like that if you just want. I'll just I'll show you one of them. Uh, like if you want that, just press OK and it'll just do that. And then you can look, enlarge it, you know, how you want it. Uh, so that's pictures, backgrounds, so we can have something like that. That looks quite good. Then you know whatever but I'm just going to do a template now I had a quick look at these and I quite a lot uh, the one I wanted to choose is that one there because it looks like a holiday thing so it's asked me to save my changes so I'm going to say no because I just want that so I thought that looked quite nice and obviously I want to change the wording so you double click up here so it calls it up and we're going to call it um, what are we going to call it Summer music, yeah? Or summer tunes. There you go. So summer tunes, uh, I think it came out a bit big when I tested it earlier. So try it on 22. Uh, summer tunes, that looks good. So click on the right or left outside the CD, it gets rid of them dots. So that looks alright. Summer tunes. Oh, you can change the colour as well. So I'm going to change the colour because uh, I want it black. I want it to stand out. So. I would have black. There you go. That's better. That's how I want it. And obviously you can change the style of the uh, text as well. And there's subtitles down here. I want to change that. I'm going to put in your keys. Bits. And Oops. Like so. And I, I definitely know that's going to be too big. So we're going to go down to about 16. Have a look. Uh, Right. Oh, a little bit smaller, I think. Uh, try 14 then. Yeah, that's better. And you can change the wording around the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. Around the edges here, but I'm going to leave that for now. But if you want to, you know, just call it out like that. So, uh, well, actually, saying that, I could just do like that. Like that. Bits and bobs. Let me just go like that. And copy. Let's have a look. Yeah. We've got Yorkie's bits and bobs going all the way around there. So that looks pretty good. So there you go. So that's your, uh, your printing done. Uh, your next step is to uh, obviously click on print. So we're going to click on print. Uh, and it says print color correction. I'm just going to leave it on default. Adjust print position. Try manual manual print test print. No, I'm not going to do nothing like that. So here we go. So it's ET7700 series, which is one I've got. Uh, media type CD DVD. You got premium service, which has got all day as far as I know. And then click on print. So you click on that. And then we go to the CD uh, printer. So it's important that you read the instructions here first. So we lift it up. Uh, basically it's saying, make sure you close the tray. So the output tray, which is in there, yeah? That one. You can make sure it's pushed all the way in first. Um, and then you want the printing tray out for your CD printing, of course. Yeah? And I'll just stick my CD on there. So, it goes in there nice and neat. 
And why you way you do it is see the arrows here up here. It goes in there. You just go in there and you push it all the way to that. So you've got another selection of arrows. See that you've got them now. Matches up with them now. So just push them in there, and as I know, that's it. Uh, press uh, OK when ready. Do that OK. Uh, DVD loading, blah blah blah, and away she goes. Let's see what happens. Printing. Oh, here it goes. Like I say, it is a first for me. I've never done it before. It'd be interesting to see how it comes out. I've no idea, uh, I've no idea how long it'd take, but I wouldn't have thought it'd take too long. And that's it. It's finished. Let's have a look. Well, ah, you see that? Okay, that's quite impressive. Nice and clear. It's dry. Yeah. So now I just think I made it dirty. Anyway, so that's it. We think. It's pretty cool, I reckon. I moved the camera back round. So that, that's it. So that is how you print onto your uh, printable CDs. Like I say, I'll stick a, a link in the bottom in the uh, description for your, uh, if in case you want to buy these um, CDs, and also if you want to buy the printer that I have, the Epson uh, ET seven thousand seven hundred. It's quite an expensive printer, so you might be reluctant to buy that but it's a very good printer and it comes with two years of, of ink as well uh, so anyway I bought these on Amazon I think about seven pound like I say I'll stick a, uh, a link in there for you in case you want to click on them but yeah very pleased with that it's got your thing just as, as I add it on the uh, computer that's it thank you very much if you have any comments please post them below uh, and if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.